Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between ATN Stock and um, Sock and Jimpo here on Kulas Ravine. We have Jimpo spawning as the purple Terran on the top left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, we have um, Sock spawning over here on the bottom right hand side of the map as the teal or light blue sky blue Protoss player. This replay or this shoutcast, excuse me, is sponsored by LUcomputers.com. Go ahead and check out their website. For StarCraft 2 tested computers, there's a link and a banner on the top right hand side of their homepage. Back over here, and we should probably see um, Jimpo go ahead and try to set up some sort of. Um, actually, I'm not sure if he'll try to set up a front door or just try to build a supply depot um, cl relatively close to his command center. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and build it relatively close. There is no ramp. Um, going up there is a choke point so it is fairly difficult for, to use marines and marauders to try to hold that position as stalkers with that range will be able to start pressuring your buildings and those marauders will have to force to lower those supply depots in order to really come out so we see um, sock now opening up and trying to reveal both sides of these Zelnaga watchtowers before continuing the scout back over here we should probably see a oh, wow going for oh going, yeah going for a 12 gateway gonna wait up uh, get up to 50 minerals and then chrono boost that next uh, probe there so there's that timing and the chrono boost lasts for about 1.8 probe trains and i believe back over here we have a barracks now being laid down followed by the factory so jimpo opening up with a standard 12 rack um yeah standard 12 racks followed with a refinery should be able to add down a tech lab marauders are a very very strong option on this map as we see this probe now coming in and Peppy and, and Stevie, the SEV, are going to be able to pass each other. And we'll see what exactly this, um, what the strategies are going to be. Back over here, Assimilator now already down at the second pylon coming in. So it's not going to be a Cybernetics core before that second pylon. No really, really heavy strategy. And SEV just still running around. And we have the Marine now being trained up. So Jimpo now training up a Marine. And it looks as though he may be trying to go for a Reactor instead of that tech lab and as i originally thought really this scv wants to see what the building is on this uh, barracks if the barracks goes down with a tech lab he knows that there's going to be more marauder play and i b did he catch it in time i believe he, he needs to go back in and try to see it yeah there he goes he now sees that it is in fact a tech lab as he continues to move around on on the backside of that base able to squeeze on through the marine trying to chase that and um, poor and uh, peppy the probe uh, peppy the probe going wah, 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 able to escape and move away with that faster movement speed all right silliness aside marine unable to catch up with that 2.25 movement speed compared to that 2.81 attack sock now putting in a proxy pylon over here will be able to warp in units very early and now researching that warp gate ability stalkers are going to be walking in very very far across the map we should probably see some chrono boost on that cybernetics core if he really wants to be able to start warping in units over here in, in a hurry we still see a bunker now being placed down as a reaper now moving out so jimpo with that early reaper may be able to do a little bit of scouting and some harassment now looking for no doesn't see that yeah it looks like he is going to try to check for that proxy pylon going to come up here no unable to see it so jimpo and a little sol there that scv now going to get taken down as the reaper was trying to find and um, reaper looking for the main base and now going to go over here activate this they'll noggle watchtower perhaps activate this one as well to gain sight and put pressure on the main base of sock cybernetics core um, nearly in completion on that warp gate ability but all of this off of one gateway one gateway play is not going to be enough especially if he starts and um, if he if that stalker now moves on out so the stalker is going to in fact move and this is one reaper may be able to get a fair amount of kills going after a probe getting one probe kill second probe kill along the way there we go getting oh no not getting that second kill really wants to try to focus that probe there and it goes and now in comes the stalker so stalker able to put a little bit of pressure but it was a proxy robotics facility with immortals wow so not only is he going to be able to warp in units, he's also going to be able to train up immortals over there. So it's a proxy robo um, robotics facility. So that proxy robotics facility will be able will be able to train up those immortals very quickly. However, there are mass marines. So that early tech lab was just for that reaper and not the marauder. As this reaper continuing to just rack up those kills, now up to four kills on that reaper. And those his own pylons now hurting him there. As we have a warp warp in over here, one immortal sitting over there. Reaper gonna go ahead and sit up on that high ground with five hit points. As a, as that stalker still activating this Zelnaga watchtower, marines and ghosts sitting out over here. SCV gonna move on out. 
and all of this off of a one gate into a robotics facility to immortals but there are not there isn't the marauders there that he originally thought so those uh, so those immortals will not be able to do that much damage he will be able to destroy this bunker fairly easily but there is enough there may be enough energy on that ghost eventually to get an emp shockwave off and that bunker is going to fall very very soon down it goes and now that the whole entire army is forced to pull back as another immortal being trained up Sto uh, reaper still sitting over here scv waiting to set up a, a base over here but now in comes the emp shockwave scv is coming off the line able to take down one zealot army wise attack sock it does have the stronger army but without any shields this whole entire army has is pretty much uh, much weaker there are only two stalkers one of uh, and two stalkers and two immortals very low on hit points scv now moving out as this army once again gonna re-engage marines getting ready is there a ghost and nearby as more marines continue to train on up scv's coming off the line trying to soak up some of that damage as well Mar uh, one stalker getting taken down and um, marauders and stalkers trying to use that uh, move and attack ability to try to focus some of these units down marines do not have stim so now continuing the pressure scv continuing to move out but all that time all that mining time has been lost and now a zealot being trained up as another immortal being trained in as well so a very very heavy heavy aggression as a second gateway being warped in as well and in come these units here and these marines should have been able to take down that immortal if they actually tried to scv is coming off the line and continuing to deal as much damage at sock really sock really losing a lot of these units here so the early aggression all these scvs getting taken um scvs not mining but really not sure what's going to be happening as we now have stim researched and now the combat shield is trying to be researched as well so are we going to get are we going to get that so now lifting up that factory and wow lifting up that factory and just causing the stalkers to um, engage against that factory a little bit uh, very very nicely done and in comes very beautiful play jimbo now with those stim marines may be able to finish off this whole entire attack one immortal down another stalker going to get taken down may be able to finish off that la another immortal as more units are still being trained up two uh, three marines now coming in so we have four marines continuing to try to press we do have one medevac scv's coming off the line again continuing to put a lot of pressure scv oh one one marine or one immortal down to um six hit points able to continue this fight and now comes this medevac but this medevac oh does not heal that marine there and well, attack sock put, really laying down the pressure here. Jimpo is going to be forced to say GG as more units still being warped in and the robotics facility. And Jimpo says GG. And thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 matchup here on Kulas Ravine. And I still have another game in this series to cast between attack, um, ATN Sock and Jimpo.